Okay, I paint gourds. I've also grown almost all of them myself. I paint them and I do the ceramics. I pour the ceramics, I fire them, and then I paint them. And also I paint the turtle shells. This is one. And then I have a couple of more over here on the other side. I've sold most of the turtle shells already. I don't know if you can see this one's got a horse on it. And I love painting them. Cleaning them is the job. Painting them is the fun, as you can see. And I don't have any big ones left right now. But and then I do all these gourds. And I like to do a little bit of everything. I've tried to stick mainly to the Native American theme today, but I do have one LSU left. And one of the most favorite things that everybody's had a fit over is the rain stick. Here's the rain stick. I'll have to, I don't know if you can hear it or not, but it sounds just like rain on a roof when you turn it over and listen to it. It's really neat to listen to. We all really like it. And it's just a lot of fun. Doing gourds is very addictive, though. I warn everybody, once you start playing with them and painting them, you can't put them down. My name is Deborah West. I'm a tribal member with the Lipan Apache of Texas. I do live here in Sabine Parish, and I do help and support the Choctaw Apache tribe whenever they have an event like this, the second annual Native American Art Festival. And I am a craft person. I make a lot of the loose stone jewelry that, are, that is at my booth or at my business. I design Native American dance regalias from dancers from Oklahoma down. I do custom-made moccasins and also custom-made um, beadwork. And I also teach the local Native people also to create their own beadwork from designing all the way up to beading theirs themselves. Thank you. My name is Doris Boynty Barr. We're from the Kiowa tribe. And my daughter and I traveled together at these art shows and at the powwows. And uh, we, we love to, you know, be out in the public with everybody. The uh, art was handed down through my generations from my, my uh, grandmother and my Aunt Alice. And we do a lot of uh, beat work. And uh, they done they done a lot of you know tanning heights and all, but I never did learn how to do that. But we do, you know, do uh, handwork, beadwork. And this is my daughter Barbara Cropper. Barbara, you want to say something? Not right now. Please. Okay. And so she's a, she's uh, tending the booth. Appreciate y'all coming around. Where did you learn your crafts from? From my grandmother. See, my mother passed away when I was seven, and my father passed away when I was four. So my grandmother raised me, and my grandmother is the one that was teaching the uh, different five different tribes of how to do the beat work, handicraft work. And so my Aunt Alice had picked it up, and I have a bunch of uh, pictures in here of the, th the different things that they had made. And I won first place of Red Earth in uh, 2001 with a buckskin dress that I made and made some leggings that we had uh, put out on display. But I did win first place on my dress, my buckskin dress. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Okay. Thank you, Miss Paul. Uh-huh.